behind the scenes at McGee Hospital. About to go see Rick Seaback. Rick, what did they oh. do to you? Hey! <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm learning to walk with my walker, so I don't put pressure on my left leg. This actually looks like it could be like a, a commercial for the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've gathered assorted goodies all during the week, and I'm supposed to keep it elevated as much as possible. It's usually covered. It's very unusual that it's not covered yet, but if I pop that, you can see it. Oh, goodness. It actually creeps me out a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> so, 55 staples. You counted them all? I didn't. A nurse did. She told me she had to. Oh, goodness. So, so if you ever lose one, will they know where to find it? I'm supposed to, I think I get them out a week from yesterday. Next Monday, I will get my staples out. It really kind of is Frankenstein-ish too. Yes, yes, yes. I, I saw when I, I when I first saw it, which would have been when I was at Montefiore over a week ago, and they first took the thing up and changed it. And they change it really fast usually. At, at that time, they did. But uh, I took a picture of it and I said I could sell this to Scarehouse because it looks so mean and ugly, and you know there was still blood and everything. It was really good. So now now it's kind of it's. It's flat. I don't like to touch it. But, um, I also got to take a shower this morning. It's been dry for 48 hours. So now I can get it wet. Um, no seepage, nothing like that. So, yeah. And oddly enough, that's an exercise you can do for PT is to flex your... This is the uh, quadriceps. Your thigh is your quadriceps muscle. And it connects to your kneecap by this tendon, which is uh -huh. what I ruptured. Oh, wow. I ruptured my quadriceps tendon. That's what I did. So I've learned from, <laughs> I've learned from the women at PT that you can rip your tendon, you can tear your tendon, or worst, you can rupture it. And I ruptured it. <laughs> oh, man. And people say, oh, speedy recovery, speedy recovery. But it's not a speedy recovery. It's a long, slow process, which is why I'm still sitting in this chair. It looks like a lot of people have been bringing you goodies and things like that. That's, oh that's my good. god! Actually, I, I, I've I've been on Facebook and stuff, and I reviewed some of the hospital food and everything. I've not yet mentioned really the food that people bring me for dinner. I think I've only ordered dinner once from the hospital. Um, but uh, my friends at the uh, Maynam Thai and Blanox, which is a new little Thai restaurant that I love. Uh, they brought me some really wonderful uh, fresh rolls and a, a really good Nam Jim sauce. And um, last night, uh, Ben Sloan and his uh, fiance uh, Kara brought me fried chicken from Kaya in the Strip. Ooh. He's the chef at Kaya, and I'd never met him before. He sent me a note on Facebook and said we'd like to come and bring you dinner. So it was really great. Um, my friends Matt, Conrad, and uh, his girlfriend Jen, they brought uh, food from Thai Cottage in Regent Square one other night. And um, I remember Michelle Pagano Heck brought me uh, baked goods. And actually, uh, Christina uh, Dickerson, who runs Savor Pittsburgh, she brought me incredible soup yesterday, some uh, salmon. <laughs> it's funny, all this food, salmon chowder for lunch, <laughs> and uh, some baked goods from Jenny Lee Bakery. Uh, and it's it's been amazing, and it's like, uh, I'm amazed at how social it is, too. Um, and my cameraman, Frank, I think he's been here three or four times. The night of my uh, uh, surgery, he came that night and brought these, his homemade veal meatballs with his fresh tomato sauce that he's been working on for like a month. You know, it's 2018, it's tomato time, and he always devotes all, all of his free time to making his red sauce for the year. So that was really nice too, and uh, you know, so, so much good food. My friends from high school, Bob and Mary Ann, 
brought me Italian from La Tavola on Mount Washington. So I, I've had good food. <laughs> it's not like you've still been getting the Pittsburgh food experience. Totally. Uh, no, I mean, and you know, I can uh, hop in my wheelchair and there's a little dining room just on across the hall over there. Uh, and you know, sit there for a long time and just talk and everything. It's been it's been wonderful. It's you know, I'm I'm blessed with really good friends. I'm not sure if uh, anybody knows yet. I don't know if you put it out there, but how did you how did you get the wound? Um, thank you. Uh -huh. um, it was two weeks ago today. It was a very hot day. Um, oddly, I I had made a pie, and I was up in Fenimore's kitchen in Studio C putting whipped cream on top of the pie so that it was fresh. And I noticed uh, Dave, one of our maintenance guys, go by with this big cart full of stuff. And I said, what are you doing with that? And he goes, I'm throwing this all away. And I said, that looks like a whole case of San Pellegrino water. And he goes, it's seven years old. And I said, I don't think water goes bad. And he goes, well, it's flat. And I said, how do you know? And he goes, Lisa bought this seven years ago and Lisa's been gone seven years. And so I said, and he ripped open the case, he pulled one out, we opened it, it was perfectly bubbly and wonderful. And I said, you're not throwing this away, this is mine. So I took it down to the guard's desk and I thought I'll put it in my car when I leave tonight. And that's what I was doing. About 9.30 that night, I was walking down the little outdoor steps at the back door of WQED with a case of San Pellegrino water to put in my car. And there's like five steps and then a little step at the bottom and I missed that little step. And that's why I fell. And I guess I twisted my leg the wrong way and uh, I ruptured my quadricep tendon. My, my friend Matt Conrad brought me a, 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 a box of La Croix because he thought, well, drink your, your bubbly water out of cans. So, um, and uh, actually there's a, a bottle of Mexican bubbly there too, just because, <laughs> you know, it's funny to, to drink bubbly water because that's what got me into all of this. This is just water, just, just because. This will be on HBO <laughs> in three months. Personally, I like your fan. I love my fan. They always write the date on the dressing so they know when it was last changed. So this will say 9-11. Yeah. Smiley face. 